again, my name is Gabe Zalma. This is the 25th of January 2019. Just read an article on CNN. More NASA bullcrap. That's going to be the title of this video. Earth's oldest rock was found by Apollo 14 astronauts on the moon. Written by Ashley Strickland of CNN. When the Apollo 14 astronauts returned samples from the moon's surface, they probably didn't realize that they were uniting Earth with a bit of its early history. The moon rock probably collided with the moon after an impact sent it hurling from space four billion years ago, according to research published Thursday in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters. The researchers believe that a large comet or asteroid hit Earth and sent the rock up through the atmosphere and into space. The rock was able to make the serpentinous collision with the moon because it was three times closer to Earth at that time. The rock contains quartz, feldspar, and zircon, which are very common on Earth, but not so much on the moon. How do they know? Huh? We've never been there. <laughs> you know, a lot of moon rocks were given to various universities and museums all around the country, all around the world. And you know what they turned out to be? Huh? They weren't rocks at all. They were petrified wood. Hmm? But that's a different story. I've actually done videos on that. An analysis of the rock revealed that it formed at temperatures associated with Earth and in an Earth-like setting combined with oxygen. It crystallized between 4 billion and 4.1 billion years ago when the Earth was young, about 12.4 miles below the surface. Hmm. If it had formed on the moon, it would have reflected different temperature conditions. It would also be highly unusual for a lunar sample, the research said, and it would have formed deep within the moon in the mantle, where scientists think different rock compositions can be found. How do they know? They haven't got a clue. Huh? You know what this is? This is just more NASA bullcrap so they can keep getting funded. That's all it is. <laughs> so when the Apollo 14 astronauts collected it almost exactly 48 years ago, between January 31st and February 6th, 1971, they thought it was an organic sample that would provide information about the moon and its composition. The international research team that analyzed the rock developed techniques to find impact fragments in the moon's soil. David King, principal investigator for the Center for Lunar Science and Exploration, challenged his team to find a bit of Earth on the moon, and he believes that more may be found. <laughs> All right, so obviously this guy David Kring has got some kind of mental condition going on. The center is part of NASA Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute. Kring expected that some geologists in the scientific community would accept the finding because it seems controversial. Wouldn't accept the finding. But given that the Earth was subjected to impact during the Hadean Eon, when the planet was forming 4.6 billion years ago, bits of Earth and the Moon don't seem surprising to Kring and his team. Quote, it is an extraordinary find that helps paint a better picture of early Earth and a bombardment that modified our planet during the dawn of life, Kring said in a statement. Absolute bullcrap. <laughs> I mean, come on, folks. We never went to the moon. The NASA engineer was asked, why don't we go back? And he says, we've lost the technology. There's more technology in this iPhone than there was in the entire space program back then. But believe whatever you like. Absolute bullcrap. That's sort of what I think. You might want to read the rest of the article. You might want to repost this in your 
social media platforms. Pass along to like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same. Absolutely insane. Moonrock my ass. <laughs>